ago is when I first started doing stand-up. So this is just a, I suppose, an episode kind of five years on to see what has changed, what I've learned and stuff like that. I'm just looking at the last couple of years of the clubs and open mics I've performed at. Hello, welcome back to Al Talks. This podcast I started three years ago to chronicle me starting stand-up. So this podcast is a weekly podcast. It comes out once a week. And this is just a small little introduction video into the podcast. So down below in the description of each episode, you can go to my link tree and find links to everything connected to me. This podcast is available on YouTube, which you're watching it on right now, and also on Spotify. Um, but yeah, that is just a small introduction into this podcast and everything that goes along with it. Hello, welcome back to another episode of Al Talks. Uh, I'm a bit of a change of schedule. I know I was going to talk about the... Um, ACDC concert, which I will, but that'll be in next week's episode because um, I kind of forgot. I forgot. I remember, but then I forgot, I suppose, about actually the also why this episode's late, but I was because I've been there. What was I going to say? I was away for a couple of days in Dublin doing an open mic, which I'll talk about in a couple of weeks. I think two or three weeks at the time. And I was away working and also this is... So, but I'll, it's basically to round it all up. This week, uh, 22nd of August 2019, so five years ago, is when I first started doing stand-up. So this is just a... I suppose an episode kind of five years on to see what has changed, what I've learned and stuff like that. I'm just looking at the last couple of years of the clubs and open mics I've performed at. And, you know, places that I have done. But, I, yeah, the some of these clubs aren't around anymore like I see there's a lot of giggles open mics which is no longer around unfortunately Feckin' Improv is also gone that was a that was one of my most uh, fun memories doing those shows because they were just great really really enjoyable yeah Feckin' Improv was great but unfortunately it stopped when Connor moved over to Germany so Connor was the host of that and the booker and the MC. <laughs> it was the one man doing everything show. Um, other clubs that aren't around, around anymore could crack open mic, which I did a couple of times. Also not around, around by Sean Begley. Great night out in Bray. Uh, also Black Sheep. Open mic and two Melinda's club. Melinda is no longer lives in Ireland, so that also is not around. But Ento Vienna still exists. Then we move on towards the later years. All oh, my friends' pub is actually that that entire pub closed down. That's the reason my giggles doesn't exist either, because the the pub they used to host giggles. Barella closed. The Circle sessions still going strong. Uh, Columbia Bar, Mulligar, great venue. Ross is a fantastic comic and a host. He always takes care of us. Then what else? What other things am I looking at? Uh, shout out to the boys in Cork in any crack comedy club, Adam Raymond. And uh, what else? And then I did another one in uh, Cork. 
where the hell is it? Don't see it. <laughs> Where's the other cork tail? Ah, there it is. And uh, on Shomra, which is David Savage's room. Very, very fun. And then that was kind of. That was 23. And bringing us back to this year. Um, yeah, I did the last giggles before it closed. Which, as you all know, I bombed it that terribly. It was one of the worst bombings ever. Really made me question doing comedy. Or continuing to do it. <laughs> I suppose. And then a host of Shomer's Priest this year. And then I was abroad in Bristol. But yeah. Uh, five years, like I said. Mentioned a couple of clubs there. And a special shout out to Melinda. The entire Steam at, Steam, uh, team at Stitches. Also, shout out to the international main man, International Comedy Club, Simon O'Keefe. Uh, the hape, the, well, the, all the, the suppose, lineups of various uh, hape and bridge comedy club, um, I suppose, st staff and fellow comedians, Joe Dowling. Paul Marsh at the start, and then Jason Berlin, Kevin Larney, and the current lineup, which is f fellow comedians and podcasters, Brandon and James. So, great lineup of continuation of doing the Hey Penny. Because, you know, I started doing comedy there, so it's all for me a very, very special place to be performing there and stuff like that. And in current times, you know, I've been a lot of Cheeky Monkey Comedy Club, a lot of Smithfield's creatives going abroad to do comedy as well. So that's kind of the year. That's how it's shaping up to be. Um, going to be trying going abroad a bit more and stuff like that. Hope maybe Edinburgh Fringe next year. I don't know. Uh, very nice. So that is kind of the last five years. Just, you know, it's, it's unfortunate a lot of places have uh, closed down and whatnot. Um, Fake it improv is definitely difficult to see go because it was just so much fun. And and in recent times, it was um, very sad to have missed Melinda. Um, or missed Melinda, see him go. But, you know, it's, um, sometimes these things have happen. But it is definitely. Um, I can't remember what I was talking about. But yeah, um, you know, new um, a lot of new comedy clubs have opened up, run by people who I've met in the last one or two years. So that's interesting. I haven't performed at them yet, but that's kind of where it's going. It's. Dublin and comedy scenes become more and more vibrant and stuff, and which is also which is also good. So very very good. More the more nights that are around, the more opportunities is in different areas of Dublin, not just in the city centre, where most of the comedy clubs are located. But yeah, I've been having so far this year. Um, it's been fun. Very difficult year, in other areas, but it's just. It's always nice the time of year to remember back when I started doing comedy because, you know, this Battle of the Axe back in the day with Tony. And there was a lot of the comedians that I would have met, they used to host now running their, you know, headline level comedians that running their own either clubs or run their own solo shows, touring and stuff like that. So it's very interesting to see them grow and also to see myself grow over the last five years. Even in, in terms of even writing the material nowadays, it's completely different to what I was writing at the start. And so it's, it, you know, it's complete opposites really of what it used to be. But it's just, yeah, really good. 
overall uh, feeling about comedy um it's getting a bit difficult in the sense you know like cancer culture and all that bullshit which is not great but i suppose i just have to persevere through it and hopefully it'll get better in the future but like i said um kind of come towards the end episode not much else to say just you know still enjoying what i'm doing which is great uh, but it's also good to look back and a lot a lot has changed in between the years like 22 the entire comedy like you should looking at two years ago how much comedy has changed like i said some of those open mics and clubs aren't around anymore and then new ones have started up that I've performed at. So it's interesting kind of to see the progression stuff. And then going abroad as well. Over to Northern Ireland. And it's Bristol in the UK. And then traveling over Ireland. Doing different gigs in different places. It's been interesting. Interesting and enjoyable. Making people laugh all over Ireland and England. So I suppose that will really kind of conclude the episode and i suppose that's it as per usual thanks for watching thanks for listening and i'll see you in next week's episode bye bye